Hi guys, Lindy here. I am trying out my um, new monitor. I took, uh, I made a couple of videos this week, but things just didn't work out right. I had to wait for two more cords. Thought I had, I have a ton of cords. Thought I had every one, but I didn't have the right one. So that, you know, was a problem. You're Sophie. So what I, one of the videos that I did was on my um, premium membership to Graphic Fairy, they had this week forget-me-nots. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful these things are. And I don't even have all the pieces in here. But forget-me-nots were Gary's favorite flower. And, you know, they, how could they not be there? Just forget-me-nots are just a beautiful little flower. And I have them up at the cabin. So I really love them. How pretty this is. Oh my goodness. And Sophie, what do you think? Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Now you're in light. She's like looking at the monitor. Wait a minute, Mom. This is kind of confusing. Um, this one, when I printed it from the right from the computer, it printed really good. But if I put this on the copy machine and print it, it doesn't print so well. So I don't know if it's my printer. It's like every time I use that printer, I have to clean the heads and do a test run and fill something up. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. People that use graphics a lot amaze me. So with that, I made a couple really cute little tags to send in because they're having a tag at Friday or something like that. And um, so this was one of the tags I made. The other tag I already used in a journal that I took down to the little resale shop that I have. So this was the little bird and I made a little pocket, put some lace on it, and then took one of the like tickets and put in there and thought that was really cute. And then the back has some journaling spots. And I took another ticket and just used part of it. And the paper that I used for here, um, I could use both these pieces. They, one is like with birds, so it would have to be like this, because the birds are there. So I used that on one of the cards, and then this one, I turned it around and used that for the journaling. So that worked out really good, it was really fun. Sorry, I don't have it to show you. But what I'm working on today is, um, I had taken three other journals that I made. I uh, made like this with a, my cinch machine. I don't really like these metal ones. I really like to use them up. I think the ones I took down to the store had the, you know, the plastic spiral ones. And I like this a lot. But, you know, I was making them out of these CD covers. And the other ones had the back you know, to the CD cover. Some For some reason, I don't have the back to the Peter Rabbit one. And um, so I just took some cart, heavy card stock and covered it with some paper. And I thought the kind that would kind of went with the rabbit, <laughs> with Peter Rabbit. Anyway, so what I need to do today, after I put the paper in and, you know, wire it together and stuff, um, then I go through it and do some different things to it. Like I will probably cover the back of this, maybe with this piece of paper or a piece of book page and I'll put a pocket in there. And then this little one, um, I think Eileen sent me this stamp. It's so cute. It says pages of yesterday cannot be reversed, but the blank pages, but the pages of tomorrow are blank and you hold the pen, make it an inspiring story. So I thought that was kind of fun to put in the front of the journals. So I put that there. So then I'll go through and I'll look at the pages and decide, okay, what does it need? Now this one needs some tags and things. So I will get my box of tags out that I have made. I have lots of things made to go in journals, but okay, let's see where this one, Put in there, no, but I can put that one in here. And then I need a little one for in here. This one says, yes, please, and there's a B in it. I'm not sure, I want a longer one for in there. So I'll go through, you know, my box of 
tags. And if I don't find one that I especially like, I'll make a new one for it. The other thing I have, I have a bunch of these, not a bunch, I have three or four of these old suitcases. And in the suitcase, let's see if I can get it open without hitting the camera. I have all my ephemera, you know, that I want to use up or, you know, that I've made to use. So, you know, um, I could put something like this in there, like that butterfly. Nope, that one's not going to fit either. There's some other butterflies that could fit like that. And, and the things I put in here are meant to be used, you know, however the person wants. Let's see. There's some other things in here. Uh, a lot of this is graphic 45 stuff. That might go in there too. Sometimes I forget what I have in this suitcase and it's not always a good thing. So then this side, I could put something bigger, but I want to put some writing paper. Um, I have these little tablets that I've made. This one has coffee dyed and lined paper. So I think I'll put that one in there. And I'll just keep going through page by page and decide, you know, personally, I like a, a journal with all blank pages so I can create on them, but some people don't like that. So like a page like this, I might take and put a corner on it and put something in it. Um, let me just keep going through. Let's see what else I have. That page is pretty plain. See that one, you know, this type of, um, designer paper really needs a pocket or something to be able to use or a person could stick things on it so i have these little um, bags of stickers i've cut out of other sticker books and um, i might go through those sometimes i put the whole whole bag in a in a journal um, let me just look through here thinking about i know i have first I usually go through and try to find where I have pockets that need to be filled. So this one needs something and that would be a great place for that giraffe thing. This was this card that it's on is actually the same as are these cards, these old, I think they're font cards that came in a, a wooden box of that I got a long time ago and I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm just keep going through my pages. And I'll go through the book three or four times, making a decision on what I want to do. It These take me quite a long time because first I have to go through the paper and see which paper I like and then line it up. Because see, like this page, these pages are a little shorter. So when I punch them, I have to be careful. This page should have something in my mind. Um, but I know there's more pockets. Okay, so this is at the end. And then I made a pocket like this. And here I put uh, a little, it's like a little tablet of paper. And I sewed that on that page, you know, before I bound it. That's the other thing. If I'm going to do any sewing with this type of journal, I really need to get it in there first. So here is another pocket. So I'm going to want to put a sticker in there or a tag in there. This one is one that I've Mod Podge, it's kind of curvy, but it says be happy and I like that. So I'll put that in there. And then I think that's the end. And this this one, because I sewed on the back of that paper, I um, just glued another piece of paper on it. So that was the first time through. Now I wanna go through and do some more pockets. And Let's see, there's a pocket, so maybe one, two, three, four. This is page number five. It's so pretty, I almost hate to cover it up, but this might make a, a nice little pocket for on there. So I can just glue that on. Would have been better if I would have sewed it on before I got started, or before I, you know, 
banded together, but I didn't. <laughs> I was getting kind of tired of these. I really, really want to use up all these and be done with those. <laughs> I don't know why. They just, I don't know. I, I'd rather sew a signature in a book than these wires, but the metal ones I really don't like because, you know, you have to get them in there just right with this piece. Otherwise, it just, the pages don't turn good. And that kind of bugs me. Let's see, how about this one with this one fit? Yeah. It says, reflect your own present blessings. And I, this is one I made with Roxy's uh, challenge. And it's on a piece of uh, index that's been sprayed. But I realized, even though I had this box of tags... I really need to make more. <laughs> oh, that would be a good one, too. For there. I think I like this one better because the colors really match. It really blends in. Okay, so. So, I kind of like to do every four or five pages something. You know, like a belly band or a fold out. There's another one of those pages. Um, so let's see. Okay, so I'm not really finding what I want to put on that page. Um, this would be a good tag for it because it's kind of white. This one says, nothing soothes the soul better than a 30-second hug, which is true, and I can't wait until we can do some hugging again. So I might make a pocket out of this one. Um, just looking around. This is another one of those cards. That'd be kind of fun. I'm just going to take this glue and glue it down here. <laughs> Sophie's right here. Let me see her. Sophie, do you see? You're on the TV monitor. So yeah, I got a monitor so that I can see that I'm in frame and that will make me a lot happier because I just hate it when I make a video and then go to edit it and all of it is out of frame. It's just so frustrating. So let's see, I think that could use a little something on there. Need a bunch of these little clusters. Oh, this one's really cute with a little boy kissing. Yeah, that's the one that's going to go on there. And then I have a little fabric on here and some painted book page and some doily. And they're all, let's see, I think this one's all glued together. Sometimes I sew them. This one's glued. I love to make these. Oh my goodness. These are so much fun to go through your scraps and just make these little clusters that is definitely from gail augustinelli and the other one is char at um rambling crafter she does a lot of little embellishment things that are so cool so i like that page now so then i'll count another five pages and just see you know if i think it needs it one or two Okay, so there's a bingo page and on the back of the bingo they're they're kind of gray so I always wonder if I should maybe put some I think I will it would have been good to cover oh I know what I can use it would have been good to cover these <clears throat> before I put them in the book so I might do that one day take a bunch of those bingo cards and then just take some paper so I can get out my big old book of coffee dye because that'll be big enough and I think I'm going to take this string out of here. Now, that book should be much easier to use. All right, so the reason I, I did it like that was so that if I want a page in a signature, I have the whole page. But for now, I just want to cover this. And unfortunately, it's not going to cover 
you know, along the holes, but it's going to cover enough of it that I will be happy. The nice thing about these books, these um, ring bind ones, is that you can make it lay flat. And that, that's a good thing, because the sewn ones, they aren't like you saw with that, with the notebook. They aren't going to lay as flat. So I guess I, I'm really torn with, you know, what is my favorite journal? A journal that I bind with a cinch or one that I sew the signatures into. So I'm just going to cut out this lined paper. So what I think I'll do is take and glue the bottom one. Which one do I want? And then this one I'm just going to glue at the top. And I'll just glue that and it hangs over a little bit there and that's kind of okay because that's black. So today I got to go back to the Apple store and get, take my phone and they don't do your phone for, you know, transfer your information right now. So you go home and do that yourself. And then if you want the rebate on your phone, you have to take it back in and you have to make an appointment. So there's writing space there and here. This can be a decorating space and that would be a decorating space. So I feel like that page is done. Some more writing paper. So that would be the fifth page. Now this page, you really can't do a lot with. So this would be a good one to put maybe this little pocket. This um, is an Elizabeth Craft. It's a little envelope like this. And I'm going to put that on down here. Well, wait, I have another one I want to put on. Okay, so I think I will um, do it like a pocket. So I'm just going to do the bottom and sides and then this little string will go on there but this is a great place to tuck some of these little stickers into oh, yes. no, that one's too small that one says hello enjoy today on oh, that those might be too big okay that be little oh, here's a little flower so cheeky Oh, that's cute. Um, hey, beautiful. That's a good one. <laughs> that would be fun when the person opens that up and it says, hey, beautiful. <laughs> so these are just fun little pockets that I have a dive for from Elizabeth Craft. I just hope the person knows <laughs> just to keep unwinding that. I don't know. And then since I made it a pocket, these longer ones can go in here. Let's see. Um, personal challenge. Spiritual. Okay, so those can go in there. And I could put, I could put this here. That's kind of a neat little cluster. I think I will. That's one that I sewed. Okay, so more one, two... Three, four, see, and this would be the fifth page, and I put that tag in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And I don't know why I picked five pages. It just, I don't know. So this is a, a white, very white page. I have my scrap box next to me. I'm having a hard time using this piece because that's what I can do with that. That I'll make a little signature out of. And what I'll do with this, see this is what happens to me, I get so distracted. Um, this might even go in here. So what I'll do is I will cut this down like this. This is one of my favorite illustrators, The Little Golden Books. Um, and can I think of her name now? I can never think of her name. <laughs> the 
and I and I love her illustrations. I just know that that's her illustrations. So then what I'll do with this is <clears throat> maybe take some more of this paper. Would that fit in there? Yeah, that would be good. I can cut that. If it looks too bad, I won't use it, but I think it's okay. Then put that in there, cut this off, and then I'll sew that. So now I have a cute little book with paper in it. I might, I think I'm gonna rethink this paper though. I think I might just use white um, lined paper in that, the same size as that. And then, okay, so this says, so that now for the day we play and work, we face the sunlight, then we turn away. That would be perfect little belly band for here. So I'm gonna cut that off and then mount it on some sturdier paper. My son had given me a whole bunch of these sample books and aren't they cool? <laughs> but, um, I haven't been able to use them. This the, the thing I use this for the most is how to put these wires in. I'm always looking because this connection part should be there. So I'm just gonna try to find it if, I, if there's a piece. Oh, that would be pretty this grass. Uh, that would have been a great page. Now I wish I would have made this page before I put it in the book, but. That's what happens. I want to cut this a little better. Kind of behind on my challenges. I need to do my collage one, and I'll do that later when I get home today. But I wanted to try out my new monitor. Since I found this, I think I will make a whole pocket out of it. So let's see if we can get that on here. Make a little pocket down. I was going to make a belly band, but I think I'm going to make a pocket for it. And then I'll, I might even sew some pages in there. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is rat tail these. And that's not rat tail, is it? I don't know what this is. Flag? I don't know. You can tell. Oh, maybe I should just do one side like that. Yes, I like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I love this grass paper. It's not cool. Uh, thing about that book, though, I'll never be able to get it again. Let's see. Now I need some green. Get this glued on. Ooh, this bottle's feeling really light. I'm going to have to fill it up again. Put that on there. And then this will get tucked in here. But I, I want to put some pages in there. So that's that one. I'm just going to leave that out so I know to do that. And then I'm going to take a, take, I have these little post-its. I think um, Terry O gave me these. Thank you, Terry. They're so cute. Little cat post-its. And I'll just put that in there so I know I need to come back to that page. Okay, so coffee bag one, two, three, four, so this would be another fifth page. So this one, I think I will do a belly band. And this time I could use something like this for the belly band. And then in the belly band, I can stick one of these cards and maybe some more stickers. Okay. I really like the idea of, like, for these pages that I have some stickers and stuff that if a person wanted to, you know, they could put their stickers on their adventure. So I'm trying to think, you know, I, I want a corner pocket on this one. So I, looking at my stuff, I'm going to need to do like a bunch of um, corner pockets and different things like that. That looks like hair. <laughs> it says cut. Uh, let's make, oh, here's some sheets. Okay. Um, that's on the 
other side of that, okay. This will help me, maybe a brown one. It, look, at they're like, oh, it looks green on the screen. Oh, it does look green when you turn it, and then when it's flat, I don't know, you can't see it, but it's brown. All right, so I need to cut it. Oh, that's such a cool piece of paper. <laughs> really a cool piece of paper so if I want to put all these things in there I might need to put it in that little envelope I have some other ones made maybe maybe this one would look a little better with that that one is this one that one's not put together yet I think I like that one the best so this one I haven't glued yet, so it looks like this. <laughs> Date night. <laughs> that's just some green. I guess that's okay. Emotional, physical, so fun. Yay, yay Friday. Love you, weekend. Uh, make it happen. Goals, my mind, checklist. These are all fun things to use. These are bring on the weekend, weekend. I <laughs> I don't really need that. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I mean, that's good, right? And then fold this down like this. I do want to have that in there when I glue this down because, well... I wish I would have, like I said, I wish I would have sewn these on before, which I usually do, but I think what I'm going to need to do is make some pages, specialty pages or, you know, fun pages, and put them aside so that when I make these books, I have those pages. So oh, I love this one with the pig's flying, so I'm going to put that on there. love that saying when pigs fly those little piggies got wings on them all right I just hope that all holds on there okay so then we're gonna count again I don't know why I'm I'm doing it that way it's just like one, two, three, four, five. I want to put it on this page. Um, it, it just, I feel like they need something else. Now this page is like um, really thin. This is the one I wanted to use. And I think with this one, what I might do... I might wrap it around like this. Okay, so the belly band's going to be on here like this. Put this in here. Oh, that just seems so big. You know, I'm not sure about that. I feel like I need to put something sturdier on the back of that. And something big has to go in here, otherwise it's going to fall out. All right, I'm going to stop here and then um, get some more things ready and then come back and do some more. Okay, so I found some things to do here. Uh, on this page, I just made a little paper clip um, by taking one of the letters. and Because it, this belly band just feels, you know, it's kind of thin. I could have backed it, but I didn't. So it's got a little paper clip. Then the page... The little book I got some notebook paper out and just sewed in some notebook paper and that's going to go in there so I can take that out because that page is done now I want to work some more on oh, we did that oh we did this page did I show you this page that I did this and put the little tablet in and that one I sewed in before I 
um, put it in the page. But now I'm working on this one, the one with the belly band, because I felt like that paper was so thin. So on the back, I glued on some Graphic 45 paper. I think it's from the same set. And then inside, I'm going to put these little pockets. Did I want it that way or this way? I can't remember. I think I want it this way. Is that just a little too much? <laughs> and um, it doesn't match up. So. so I have a couple little pockets in here. And I saw this one on, on Gail Gustinelli, but there were a couple more pockets and she used um, book page and stuff. It was really cool. So I think I want this to come down so you can get in from up here. And then the way it's going to close, my whole intention on this one was just to put this paper on so you could write on it. But then I got carried away. The other one went. But what I did is I just took a one inch circle and punched a hole in it and put a brad in it and then put a hole in here. And I'm just gonna put that like this. And I'm not gonna make it real tight because, oh, you can't see. I'm not gonna make it real tight because there's gonna be string that's gonna wrap around there. Now I have to find the other one. So the way I made it is I just took a one inch circle, punched it. <laughs> and that one went on the floor, so we're gonna make another one and catch it. And then I hmm, found the, the center by taking another one and folding it. <clears throat> so I did that so I could kind of find the center. It's really not the center, is it? And then I just punched a hole with my big old crocodile. That's pretty good. And then I just took a brad and I had a little red square one. I'm just putting a little tiny bit of glue there so that the brad sticks more to the paper. And I'm not going to let that dry. Okay, so did I put these two in? I did. So now I want to put some things in here. So I have butterfly and a milk. Thing, another milk thing, <laughs> thingy, uh, another butterfly. You know, these are all things that can be used to decorate the page. Oh, I have some of these really pretty things from that um, Forget Me Not journal. I'm going to put those down here. There's some eggs and some more. Oh, I don't want to put two eggs. Some more Forget Me Nots. And then I have this cute little paper doll. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I took out of there. I think, you know, I think I used her for one of my swaps when I was doing the uh, artist trading card swaps. So I think I'll just cut this out like this and stick her in here. So if a person wanted to cut her out and put her, maybe I'll get this other dress too. This is Dolly Dingles Travels. <laughs> that's what it says. Oh, I just cut that off. Oh, well. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And this is going to go like this. And now I can put the, I think that's dry enough that I don't want it to glue to the here because there's, oh, it isn't, but because, um, there's got to be space for the string. So I'm going to open that up like that. And then I'm going to get some string. I think this is like linen string. Cut a piece of that off. And when I, when I do my books, I usually just wrap it around once. Um, so that, you know, like this. And the person could, I left it long, so if they want to make it shorter, they can. But so then you'd open this up like this, and then there'd be the two pockets in there. And, 
And then I want to put, um, there is a pocket up here. So I want to put a, it's not a really long one. I don't know if that'll fit. Though. This is from a Norman Rockwell calendar. Yeah, see, I only, uh, this piece of paper only goes down to about that far. And then I glued it across. So I can't have a really tall one like that. How much it sticks out at the top. I think that's okay. All right. So I, I still need to put something on the back of this. Um, this grass paper would be kind of cool because it is a rabbit after all. Just had this, the inside of this cover to do. And I think I'll do that right now. So I'm going to mark it here. That's still a little too big. Might not be such a bad idea to have it a little bigger like that. It's okay if it sticks out a little bit like that. Make it a little sturdier. I have a bunch of these little, this book belongs to. And I'm gonna put that down here and I'm gonna make it a pocket. Okay, and then I can put in like this. Oh, here's a couple little plain tags that, you know, a person could put anywhere they wanted. So, I'd, all right, so there we go. Now she's done, <laughs> I think. A lot of times I'll go through again and it'll be like, eh, maybe. So that's in there, it's there. Right. And I think there's enough extra things in here, like the stickers that um and you know the tags can all be written on the back of and uh these things could be torn off and put on a page a lot of stickers in here Another tag. you getting sick of looking at it that, that's like by the time I get done with it, and I've looked through it so many times, it's like, okay. Page. This has got a lot of stickers in here. So I think, I think whoever gets this book will have some fun with it. Um, like I said, I'll take this down to the retwisted shop downtown and they'll sell it. I don't even know what they sell them for. Isn't that terrible? I just say, here you go. <laughs> and then whatever money I get, I'm like, okay, that's all going to go to the kitties on the prairie. So that's fine. All right. So there you have it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video and have a great day. Bye-bye.